Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Coach Brian Klopacki, Certified Strength Coach here at, with CriticalBench.com, and I'm giving you exactly what you need to do to build strong glutes. Now, everybody loves a nice rear end, you know, a nice shapely rear end or booty, if you will. But not everybody trains for strength, especially the women and also men. They just think, hey, I'm going to do these couple exercises with these numbers and expect my glutes to be strong. So first things first, if you want strong glutes, you got to train your glutes. Don't be doing leg exercises expecting your glutes to get strong. You do leg day, right? But glutes, they're not really part of your legs, are they? They're part of the lower body. So what I recommend for you is to do a glute specific strength training protocol. So again, we're going to go through step by step on what that exactly looks like. First things first is what is strength? Strength is actually muscle, not density, but muscle concentration of the ability to move a heavy object. That's strength. So we're not talking mass here. We're talking actual strength. So we need to apply basic strength training principles, okay? So heavier weight, you gotta lift heavier weight. Anything between 75% and 100% of max effort or your one RM max. So I don't expect you to know your, um, you know, like your Bulgarian split squat max effort. So, but what that looks like is anywhere from three to six, maybe eight repetitions. And depending on who your coach is or who you get your advice from or your, what your trainer says, or even the certifying agency that you might be affiliated with, these numbers can vary. You know, some Olympic lifters, power lifters, they don't go past three reps. Sometimes it's even two reps and that's it. They just do a whole bunch of different sets. But for the general population, I would say three to six reps of a heavier weight. Again, let me write this, heavy, heavy weight, three to six or maybe eight reps, depending on which exercise. But now you wanna make sure you're doing two to five minutes of rest in between each set. Now, how many sets are we talking about? Anywhere from three to six sets. I was taught by uh, a professor um, that he says there's really only one main set, everything else is a warm up. So, three sets, you're really not truly warmed up to lift heavy if you do three sets. You might take five, six sets in order to get next to that 100%, which is three reps. I mean, it wouldn't be three reps, it'd be one rep at that point. Uh, but you, in order to lift heavy, you gotta rest longer. So the moral of the story of all of this is that it will take time, but the main thing is no circuit training. No circuits. So what does that look like? On, and in just a moment, you're gonna see exactly what you need to do to uh, implement this. But in summary, lift heavy, light on the repetitions, so lower reps, resting two to five minutes, no exceptions because you physically might be okay, but internally your muscles are saying, hey, I gotta restore my ATP, I gotta renew my energy, my phosphocreatine system, all this whole scientific nonsense that you don't care about, that takes place on the inside where the outside may be like, all right, I'm ready to go again, but don't go again until three to five minutes, or excuse me, two to five minutes is up three to six sets, no circuit, so stay with one exercise and move on. Oh, that's years of education right there in a nutshell. And if you're asking where I got this information from, I get it from the NSCA, National Strength and Conditioning Association. Uh, I'm certified through them, but certified through them for about 10 years now. Uh, that's where I get all my research from. That's where these numbers actually come from. So what does this look like in a workout? So. All these uh, principles combine glute training, glute specific. If you want gl strong glutes, glute specific. And let me guess, you're gonna think number one is, take a guess. Chances are you're wrong because squats and deadlifts aren't number one answer. Hip thrust, 
That's the number one answer. That's it, right there. That will solve all of your issues. Hip thrusting is the number one answer. Now there's a couple different types of hip thrusts. We're not gonna get into that right now because all different types of hip thrusting will still target the glutes. But that's your main exercise for glute specific strength training. The second one, okay, squats are good. But again, that's not glute specific. That is also quad specific. So for the sake of number two, I will put squats, but I will also put deadlifts. Because if you're doing a, a lower body workout, glutes, you will still hit the glutes uh, within squats and deadlifts. I would just do a normal uh, back, back squat um, and deadlift traditional RDL um, deadlift there. So now we're gonna go into things like glute bridge. I love the weighted glute bridge. You really get the peak uh, contraction at the top of the lift there. So one, two, three, we got, okay, another exercise is your Bulgarian split squat. That's a great exercise to do. Uh, it will target a little bit of the quads as well, just because all that, that weight is gonna be applied on that front leg there. And really the five, the fifth one is kind of like just like the shotgun approach. So I'm gonna write a couple different exercises here in order for you to build strong glutes. You know, uh, frog pumps, uh, clamshells. And again, all of these will be done with resistance. That's how you build strength. Clamshells, uh, these would also be uh, band walks. Some kind of glute machine at your gym, um, whether it's a uh, reverse hyper, a, a glute ham developer, um, even like a donkey kick machine, things like that. So these are kind of all your secondary exercises right here. I don't expect major strength to come from those, but if you're doing one through four, you will see strength. Now again, if you're brand new to glute training, you're, you're going to see strength by just uh, the neuromuscular adaptations that will just take place naturally just through exercise. All of these will require resistance training or added form of resistance if you're you know seasoned to training. That's where you start applying these. Again, these can be done pretty much at the gym, at home, anywhere, as long as you have um, just a little bit of space to do this with. Hip thrust takes place on a bench. Squats that can be done with the barbell, kettlebell, things like that. So there you have it. If you apply these tips or these principles, you will build stronger glutes. There's no doubt about it. Again, real quick, in summary, strength training principles, you gotta apply this to build strength, not size, not definition, but actual strength to get stronger, which will obviously help with performance, injury prevention, um, lifting heavier weights, things like that and apply these glute specific exercises, hip thrusts, squats or deadlifts, glute bridges, Bulgarian split squats, and all your secondary exercises, frog pumps, clamshells, band walks, um, glute machines. Gosh, there really are a lot of different, uh, I call them secondary or show exercises that you'll get strong in, but they won't build strength like your first four exercises right there. So there you have it. This is the format you need to follow to build strong glutes. But not only that, I wanna give you something for free to use with your training. It's called a five minute glute workout. And if you use this five minute glute workout in your training, you will get strong as well. So check it out, it's free and it's right here. Click this box, give us your email and we're gonna send you this free PDF right now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and check out these glute videos that I know you're gonna find just as helpful as the one you just watched here. Got a question, post it now below, I'd love to help you out. I'm Coach Brian with criticalbench.com. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon.